Good morning. Hey, everybody. Welcome. So I hope this goes well. I hope you guys like my message today. But let me start by saying be you, right? God created you for a purpose, right? He says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans for hope and plans for future, to prosper you and not to harm you. And he, he created you individually to be you and to do what you do, right? Because in the body, there's hands, there's feet, there's eyeballs. I don't know what I am. I don't know if I'm a foot or whatever, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you be you. But with that being said, I want to talk to you about how you start your morning, okay? Because back in the day, I used to start my morning by, this is back when I had a BlackBerry. I've been an iPhone guy for about four or five years now, so a while ago. But I start my day, alarm would go off, I'd grab my BlackBerry, what I do? Facebook, email, right? See what's going on in the news. I mean, that, that's, a, that's a time waste. I'd waste half an hour or something, right? And uh, let me just tell you, I think it's like 7 right now, 7 a.m., maybe 6.30, something like that. But I've been up for a while, and by 5.30 this morning, I had done my laundry, washed and dried. And when I say do my laundry, I, I clean my down comforter, right? Goose down, not an easy task. That's not just throw it in the, in the, in the wash and the dryer. So, I mean, by 5.30, I've done some work, right? I've, I've done my morning devotionals. I've done my exercise for the day. I kicked butt, right? So, there's a big difference between getting up and by 5.30 in the morning, having your laundry done, having your devotionals done, having your exercise done, and, and surfing the web and looking at Facebook. And so, I want to talk to you guys about how you start your day and, and encourage you to be intentional because who are you, right? We're all created different. God created us all for a different purpose. Your purpose might be different than mine. But are you stepping into that or are you spending time wasting away? Because we have to be intentional. There's a saying that says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I know you guys aren't failures, right? Because you guys are overachievers. You're overcomers. You're conquerors, right? You guys exist to take the world by the tail and show it who's boss, right? You're going you're gonna to rock this thing, right? You wake up and you say, this day is mine. You're the type of person you put your feet on the ground and the devil says, oh crap, he's awake, right? So you're awake, you're ready to rock and roll, and I just encourage you guys to step into your calling, right? Step into what you have, what God has for you. Don't just sit by passively on, on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. You know what? I do those things too, but just think how much time you waste and don't let that be your first thing of the day, right? Do some jumping jacks, do some push-ups, Read your Bible, read your devotionals, do whatever. Go over your momentum plan, go over your goals, right? Because here's the deal. By 5.30, I've done X, Y, and Z, right? I'm kicking butt. I'm like, yes, this day is mine. And then what happens, right? I get online. I'm like, hey, it's 5.30. I've done some stuff. Let's get some homework in, right? So I get online, start to do homework. And all of a sudden, I'm like, what the heck? How did I fail this assignment? Yeah, go figure. I failed an assignment. I'm an overachiever, but come on, guys. I'm not perfect. Anyways, failed the assignment. Why did I fail the assignment? It doesn't really matter, but I failed it. Actually, I'll tell you. I didn't understand it, so I failed it. And so, with that being said, that kind of frustrated me. I had the kind of week this week, like literally, why, why did I do everything by 5.30? Because this is the week where... I'm going to go to work. I'm going to work 10 hours. Tonight, I'm going to teach for five hours. Tomorrow, I'm going to work for 10 hours. Then I'm going to go to class for four hours, right? Thursday's going to be the same thing, right? I'm going to go to work for 10 hours. Then I'm going to coach some clients. Then I'm going to do some homework. My week is maxed out. And so I don't have time to figure out why I got a bad grade and figure out how to make that up. And so I look at this and I'm like, wow, because that's how it is, guys. It's a battle. Every day you wake up, it's a battle, and you have to set yourself up for success. Because if you don't, these things are going to piss you off, and they're going to ruin your day, right? And so I was like, wow, great. Failed this assignment. So what do I do? The same thing I always do. I rock the freaking day. It's just a bad grade. Who cares? So what? There's other grades. There's other classes. Life goes on. But if you don't set yourself up for success... Stupid stuff's going to take that out. You're going to get a bill in the mail. You're going to get cut off by another driver. 
You're going to have a, a fight with your friend or your significant other. You're going to do all these things and it's going to take you out. But I want to encourage you to set yourself up for success and plan for success because when you do that, all of a sudden, your life is not dictated by those around you. It's not dictated by your circumstances, right? All of a sudden, the weather doesn't piss you off. All of a sudden, your bosses and people don't piss you off because you've set yourself up for success. Now, I'm not claiming here that we're always going to be happy, right? We have emotions. We're emotional beings. So I'm not sitting here saying your life's going to be perfect. So if you hear me saying that, no, I'm not. I'm just saying we're preparing ourselves for battle. And when battle comes, we're going to be ready. Thought to say is focus, plan, get your life in gear, step into what God has for you, have an amazing day, put your smile on, rock it out. You guys kick butt. You know you kick butt. I don't have to tell you because you already know, right? We all kick butt. I kick butt. You kick butt. We all kick butt. Go kick butt today. Have an amazing day. You're amazing. All right? God bless you guys. Peace.